Welcome to this tech tip showing how to easily build multiple paths offset toolpath using EdgeCam. The info in this mini training segment is useful for milling applications and also for turning centers with live tooling capability. The part for the first example is machined in a vertical CNC milling machine. The machining process begins with clamps positioned parallel to the y-axis. Material is removed, intelligently avoiding the fixtures. Then the machining stops, clamps are repositioned, and roughing the remaining material resumes. Once the heavy roughing is complete, the excess material along the front and back of the part will be removed. Currently that material is removed in a single pass, but it would be better to get this done in multiple passes. That is where we're at in the current process, where we'll explore how to use EdgeCamp's multiple pass capability. Let's have a look at the toolpath command used to mill the extra material from the front and back edges of the workpiece. A profiling cycle has been used, which is a common finished machining command in the software. Notice that there are offset values which can be used to turn this into a skimming or even a roughing command. In this case here, we'll allow the software to continue machining to finish size, but we'll add in multiple passes. So when I click multiple passes, we have a sub dialog that allows me to put the starting offset, start 3 eighths of an inch away from the part, in this case, and an offset increment walk in an eighth of an inch at a shot. After selecting OK, notice that the software now builds four passes, starting three eighths of an inch off, walking in an eighth of an inch, another eighth of an inch, and then the remaining to finish the size. In this particular example, there's two edges used in a single machining cycle, and the results are where the software builds the tool path to completely mill down the front edge of the part and then to move, and again working outside toward finished part, to mill the back edge of the part. Because both targets for machining were picked in a single milling cycle. Let's look what happens if we go into the finish profiling and alter this and use the cut by offset option. This option changes the tool path order so that now the outboard cuts happen first on each edge then we're walking in an eighth of an inch for the next cut, then an eighth of an inch for the next cut, and then the final pass is up against the finished part wall. I'm going to show one other trick here. Let's undo this, and if you notice and look closely, you can see how at each pass the software is lifting up, repositioning down, turning on the small lead required for cutter comp. So we're doing a lot of up and down motion and we're maintaining the climb cut in this case. If we alter the tool path request and tell the software that we're preferring to keep the tool down on the part and run optimized where it switches between climb and conventional cutting, we can now see that the tool path order continues down, moves into the next cut, and then simply heads back along the wall. Let's simulate this and see what the motion looks like. We can see the software comes in with 3 eighths of an inch, walks in an eighth, stays down, walks in another eighth, and then comes in and finally leaves the workpiece, and then goes repeats the cut on the back side of the part. The part used with the next example is machined in a twin spindle CNC turning center equipped with live tooling. The machining process begins on the main spindle. After all turning and boring work is complete, several flats will be milled. Once the milling is complete, the subspindle will link with the main spindle and pull the material to the required part length. Hull drilling and part off are done with the spindles linked. The subspindle will return home after part off, followed by machining on the subspindle to produce the finished part. EdgeCam simulation allows the CAM user to see the entire process and predict all multitasking toolpath for the entire machining setup. 
The result will be a single CNC code file that will not require editing. After seeing the entire machining process, we'll improve the tool path for milling flats by adding multiple passes. We're in the CAM model and we're editing the tool path where the flats are built. Similar to the milling example, a profiling cycle has been used. Three flats are targeted in a single cut and we'll start with a quarter inch offset and walk it at 100,000 per pass. And with that request, the cuts are adjusted to do that. Now this will result in a lot of up and down motion, so similar to the milling example we showed earlier. We can alter this and allow the mill type to be optimized to keep the tool down. Also want to point out that you don't have to click on the edit button for multiple passes to see the inputs in there. You can hover over the title and this information in the sub box is easily visible in the tooltip. With optimized selected, we'll press OK. Now we have efficient path where the tool stays down and works back and forth at each flat before moving on to the next flat. If you have been watching on YouTube, make sure to check out the M2 Technologies Tech Tip on finished milling applications, multiple pass profiling for additional information. The M2 blog site has many tech tips and training segments. Use the search option on the blog page with keywords multiple pass to locate this tech tip and additional information. Contact us by email or phone if you need additional assistance or have questions on CAM applications.